Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I love to make Target shop with me's. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below. I'd love to have you here. Today I'm gonna to show you new Christmas items and stocking stuffer ideas for kids in the Bullseye Playground at Target. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with this decorative basket here. I love it a lot because you could either like decorate it and put decorative balls um, in it on the center of like a coffee table or you could totally put it in a bathroom and have like um, towels rolled up and then placed in there. I think that would look really cool. You could even like pyramid the towels. I also found these glass trees. They are so cute. They, I believe they had them last year, if not in the Bullseye Playground. Threshold had them or something, but they had three different colors, white, green, and pink. The first one was green, but it's kind of hard to see in the video the tinge of green, um, but it certainly is. So you could, again, pair them together or you could just do one color. Here is three of them side by side. As you can see, I think they're really pretty and a great addition to Christmas decor. I found a bunch of these like little art kits. You could definitely put them as stocking stuffers or you could use them in advance. Some of them are Christmas, so technically I would give them in advance because one of them you have to make like an ornament and stuff that you could hang on a tree. So here is like the ornament that you would do gems and it comes with everything you need in the pack. Um, the gems are very similar to like the stick on earrings from back in the day that they used to sell. I'm not sure if they still sell them. But here's this, and then there is this little doodle kit that you can use to trace. It comes with the things to trace and the pens and whatnot. So here you can see what the kit comes with. Just lots of neat things. Kids love this stuff. Um, they also have this build your own snowman kit. Check it out. The ages are about six and up on all three of these, all four of these. So just keep that in mind when picking them up. I didn't get one for my son because he's four. I thought maybe wait another year or so. I showed in my previous video a space projector light, but this Bluetooth has the disco ball, so it depends on what you're looking for. I feel like this would be more for like college student, whereas the space thing would be more for like a child. This is the first time I'm finally coming across the Nutcrackers. There was green, red, and white. I really love all three of them. I personally would get one of each and just line them up next to each other. Um, if you're looking for different colors, I know Hobby Lobby had different color nutcrackers last year, so definitely see if they have the same this year. Here is this little Santa jar. It is so adorable. Let me know in the comments below what would you do with this. I was thinking cookies originally, but I'm not sure if it's big enough for a bunch of cookies, so then I was thinking something like Hershey Kisses. Let me know in the comments below what you would do with this Santa jar, or would you just like set it out on display and not really um, put anything in it. I found a bunch of ornaments. I always love their ornaments in the dollar spot every year. I bought a whole bunch last year and I'm going to do the same this year. They have this little wooden stack of presents with the red bow around it. They're all a dollar each. This one is a cute little white house. I just like them because they're so affordable and you could, you know, style them all together and just, you know, they're your traditional type of ornaments. Here is a, uh, uh, a sheet pan for cooking for baking with that you could put cookies on it so I like the little gingerbread house I thought that was really adorable here's a little gnome as you can see they just have so many different ornaments some of the strings aren't super long so you may need a hook or an additional string to hang them up just keep that in mind um, I did notice they weren't super long here is a paper cutter they have these every year for a dollar and this is the only one I came across this year I didn't see any others I think this would make a great cookie tray, this little tree board here. It's so cute. I came across the ornament one in my previous video, but I didn't see the tree in particular. So here it is. You could totally do a charcuterie board. I just think cookie board when I see it. These gnomes are a must. I know people are probably tired of the gnomes, but they are so heavy. They're weighted at the bottom and they're only $3. Like the quality of them and the weight of them and the size of them, I was expecting them to be $5, but they are three. All, all the ones that I'm showing you are only $3. So I think it's definitely worth it. The, the pink one has a little bell on the top of the hat that when you shake it, you can hear the bell jingle. So I just really like these and I think it's a great price for the quality of the item. Here is a tray. This is one of my favorite decorative trays I actually have ever come across. I like how the top is like much smaller and skinnier than the bottom. Um, I just like the whole look of it. And then here are some items that you can use as stocking stuffers. 
Here's bath bombs. They bring out a bunch of these bath stuff every year. Here's silly string. I know kids love these um, bath items. They make such a mess, but it's well worth it. It keeps them entertained. There's a bunch of night lights. As you can see, they have Peppa Pig. They also had Spider-Man and a few others. So if you are looking for a night light, you could pick one of these up for your child. I apologize, but a lot of the times they don't have always have the price of these items listed for the kids stuff in the dollar spot so if i'm not showing it that's why um, these balls light up they have a bunch of different christmas colors here as you can see they have red green and white or clear um, so you could definitely put one of those in the stocking as well here's a little slinky they came in different colors and shapes these are those number paints paint numbers so definitely for a child if they're a little bit older they have this clay. This would be great for like ages three and up in my opinion. And then I picked one of these up for my son, this Wonder Grow. You grow the bugs in water and then um, you there's different things about the bugs inside of the book. These are amazing. They did not have these last year. They're like the same colors though as the snow shovels they had last year. But these, you put snow in them, you pack them together and then you make like a penguin. As you can see the instructions here and then these you would make snowballs um, i picked these up we don't have snow where i live in california but i was going to freeze them for my son so that was an idea that i had and then just make like a sensory play bin out of it they also had this snowman as well i think these are going to be a big hit so if you come across them pick one up i think they would be a lot of fun in the snow here is um, dinosaurs they have a bunch of different kinds and colors so check them out if your child is into dinosaurs but that is going to conclude today's video my friends thanks for being here thanks for watching if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like in the future be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys